it would be awful if this was your last chance. It would be a shame if this was your last opportunity for salvation. Hallelujah. This thing is so real with me until I would rather, I'd rather God take me right now and, and, and leave all of y'all standing. What happened to Reverend Henderson? He was just here a minute ago. He said, honey, something just took him in. It wasn't no rapture that God just took me and left my body laying here and took my spirit home. I'd rather that happen and be saved. Huh? Than to hang around as long as Methuselah, 969 years old. Hallelujah. And somebody said, when God did call on me, he told him, Methuselah, come on in. He said, already? 969 years of age. I'd rather go home right now and be with the Lord and let you wonder. Wonder why the Lord wanted to take Reverend Henderson. The Lord promised him long life. You reckon he was into something he couldn't shake a loose? You reckon, honey, we just uh, think what you want to think. I'd rather be in glory with the Lord, feeling sorry for you all down here, than to live and die in my sins. Nothing means more to me than my walk with God, my relationship with God. I'm glad he knows that. Amen. I don't have no explaining to do. I know I'm saved and ready to meet God. I remember, I've said this, when a few years ago when the gyms began to fall, the Jim Jones, the Jim Baker, and the Jim Swaggers. Now that was years ago. God forgives and it's under the blood. We're not throwing off at nobody. But when they were falling, when they were in their heyday, and I said, Lord, I'd rather die. I'd rather, I, I'd rather you take me than for me to lose out with my ministry because my ministry comes first. And before I could get the words out of my mouth, the Lord rebuked me and said, I don't want your ministry to be first. Your relationship with me, your fellowship with me, being born again, that's first. And all the preaching and gifts and stuff is second. Because many shall come in my name, said, I've healed. Isn't that the ministry? I've prophesied. Isn't that the ministry? I've even cast out devils in your name. And he's going to say, depart from me. Ye workers of iniquity. Honey, you can have the ministry and be lost. You can have the gifts of the Spirit and be lost. But a relationship with God, saved till you know you're saved. I ain't talking about saved till you impress folks until they approve. But when you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, hallelujah, let come what may, I know him.